Cargo Bike Life. Uh, this is part three of the trailer build. It's pretty much finished. Uh, there might be a couple things I have to do to it, but I did strengthen it because it had too much wobble to the front piece of three-quarter ply. So here's it attached to my Surly Big Dummy. You can see there's one piece of conduit. That's uh, EMT. Connects to the Big Dummy. I used a neck from a bicycle. And what I did was I put a bolt through there with a nut on each side because I didn't clamp it tight. It has to have the ability to turn. When you, when you turn, when you're riding and you turn, it has to have the ability to flex. So what I got on there, I don't know if you can see it, it's a plastic sleeve that I made. And I also greased it a little bit just to be sure there's no binding. But this neck worked perfectly because you have to be able to adjust the neck for degrees for this bend, this angle on the tube. It has to, it has to have a little bit of, of adjustment to it. So it worked out perfect. And then it's just got a pin that clips it, clips it through. I drilled a hole through the neck and through the pipe, and it just clips together. And then back here, this is the weak point in the design right now because this bracket holds the tube but I just zip tied it there and then I put this little bracket on each side to keep it from sliding back and forth there's one single bolt that holds it on but I mean it that's that's pretty strong I'm gonna have to figure out a way to attach this bracket better to this tube but it has to have the ability to also pivot and then for the trailer itself to strengthen it this piece of single three-quarter ply on the front, even with the brackets, it had some flex to it. When I tightened the bolts, the, the three-quarter ply was flexed. So I put a piece of two by three down here, screwed that in to this two by three, and then I came through the three-quarter ply on the front with some screws through the, through the brackets and through the plywood just to pull it all together. Then I put another piece of two by three on the top and I screwed it in with a bunch of one and five eighths inch wood screws you can see right here all along the top and that took if you look down the top of it now there's no curvature to it it's straight and with this piece of two by three on the bottom it's now very rigid it doesn't have the flex that it had it was flexing back and forth it just wasn't very strong I thought the brackets would be enough but they weren't I lost, you know, an inch and a half of space. It's five foot, now it's, you know, an inch and a half less, but still plenty of room to haul stuff. But this gave it the strength that it needed. The only thing it lacks right now really is, is paint and a, and a better way to attach that. I'm still working on, you know, the, the little bracket up there. But overall, it, it came out pretty good. Uh, I did take it for a test ride. Rides nice, when you turn, it turns nice. I mean, there may be future adjustments. I'm gonna do a ride video where I take it out and actually like pick some stuff up with it. I'll, I'll plan some kind of ride where I go out and load the trailer up. Um, I'm 6'4 and I weigh 200 pounds. And when I step on the trailer, there is no, no flex to it. I mean, I'm, I'm 200 pounds. So it's holding me just fine. I mean, it's, it's no problem. With, with me standing on it. Sorry about the camera angle. I just I don't have anyone here with me today. Um, I did bolt through the floor into the cross cross members. I still have to put one cross member across the back, but I did. I'm glad I left this one because there was a reflector that screwed onto the back, so I was able to screw it back on. So I do have a reflector on it, which is good. Probably good if there was a. I got a light and mounted it back here maybe but other than that it's it's done if the weather we're gonna stay you know around 60 degrees I would paint it up but right now our weather's dipping into the 40s here in Indiana so I really can't paint it right now and I want to make sure that you know it's gonna work good and I don't have to do anything different if the little metal frame does not hold up when I load it if it's too flexy or if it bends then I, what I will do is remove the metal frame I will build a wooden frame underneath it which will make it a little heavier I don't know how much it weighs but 
I can tell you riding down the road, pulling it behind the big dummy, it's it's like nothing. I mean, it's there's it's like having nothing behind you really. I mean, there's a little bit of a weight, but not that much. And the nice thing about this pole like this is when you remove this pin and you take this pole loose, the reason I left the handlebars because I had somebody ask me about that. The pole is here. But to store it, you would have to have something that's, if this pole were static and could not move, you would have to be able, something, you know, five foot plus the length of this pole, which I think is a, uh, it's a five foot length of pole. So you'd have to have 10 feet of storage, but with the ability to rotate this, you can simply put it back. Now the pole's back on the trailer and you can use the handlebars to steer it. makes it a lot easier I only have one hand to steer it right now because I'm holding the camera but you get the idea and there now it's easy to store and the pole just sits right there goes folds over the trailer I've got to find a way I can't get a bolt through here the bolt hits on this this bar in the middle so it, it won't bolt if you got an idea, shoot it to me. I can always use a good idea. I, I got to come up with a way though, because zip ties are are great, but they're they're not really the solution for a trailer. I don't ever want it to like be pulling it and come loose and, and ride away from me. That would be very bad. But that's the video for today. I have a small clip that was shot with my uh, cell phone one day. When I was testing it out and I will post that too so you can actually see it moving uh, pulling behind the bike and then I will make a better video when I actually go pick up something with it and load it up so that's all I got for you today this is Cargo Bike Life signing out y'all ride safe be happy see you later